I'm often asked about the best way to use Microsoft Teams and Outlook together. So I put this video together to show you some of the ways that the two tools can be used together today, as well as what is coming in the future. So here we are in Microsoft Teams. Down the left-hand side, we have our list of our teams and our channels. We're going to take a look at the research and development channel here and off of this ellipse we can basically drop that down and get the email address for this channel and that's the address there and basically all I do is do a copy and then we're going to jump back over to our Outlook client and we're going to find a email message that we want to forward so here's one from Isaiah that we has an attachment for Contoso patent and we are going to forward that attachment and email message by pasting the address that we got from Teams into the to section and then just hit send. And in a second, we're gonna jump back over to our Teams client now we're going to go into the research and development channel. There it goes. That's it right here. The Contoso patent and real file. And this is the email message that we forwarded. So that is how the first integration item works. Um, the second item is to go the opposite way with it. And we're going to share a message from, Out from Teams over to Outlook. And we're going to just jump on to one of our conversations and you can see it has a full conversation here. We're going to drop down the ellipse off the top of the message and we're going to do a share to Outlook and it's basically going to copy this message into an Outlook email and then we will be able to forward that over and you can see we've got the entire con the entire thread there around that conversation. We have a link here to jump um, back to Teams from Outlook and we're going to say, you know what, we're going to send this to Joni and we're going to copy Lee on it since Lee is actually sending the message just so that we can see that it gets sent and lands directly. There's the message and okay, message sent. Now we're going to jump over to Outlook and here's our message already you can see the entire thread and we have a link to go to teams so that's the share to outlook functionality i had mentioned about the share to teams so i'm just going to jump back to outlook for a second here that's future functionality you have these add-ins across the top here there would be an add-in up here like this send to OneNote, and it will basically say send to teams the other functionality that I mentioned was to basically set Outlook as a tab. So you have your channel and you have your tabs across your channel and you can make one of your tabs an Outlook channel so that when a user clicks that tab, it automatically opens their Outlook and um, you know gives them access to their email. So now instead of you know jumping back and forth to Outlook what, the way we were, if I'm if I need to see my conversations up here, I've got my posts. If I need to see my files associated with a channel, I've got all of that right here. Now I also have a planner project plan. So there's there's our planner file. And if I want to see our power see a power by BI report. But we're here to talk about Outlook integration. So I'm just going to jump back to the Outlook tab. So basically you have all this great capability. You can work inside of Teams, move between Teams and Outlook, and uh, share information from Outlook client into Teams and from Teams back to Outlook, um, or navigate across tabs in your team, jumping between you know your Teams discussions, your files, your project plans, your Power BI reports, and your email, all inside of the Teams client. So. That's just a really good example of why I'm so excited about Teams. So that is Outlook integration with Microsoft Teams. If you found that valuable, please like or share this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments so I can help answer them for you. 
And if I can help you with teams in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. <music>